My name's Ronald Manley and I'm Elizabeth Manley's father. Me and my wife adopted Elizabeth and her sister when she was two. She has spinal bifida. She's paralyzed from the waist down. It's pretty complicated. It's not easy. It's something I gotta deal with. Uh, the state was supposed to provide her with everything she needed, but for some reason they couldn't come through with a new walker for her. Well, if she doesn't have a walker, she's confined to her wheelchair. She can't. There's no movement at all, and she needs to be up moving or she'll lose the use of her arms, which she has right now. It felt like I was just stuck in one position. It was depressing. was frustrating for me because I know that I was doing my job well. Our economy has a lot to do with it and Medicaid has cut back. They're cutting back on what they're going to approve and deny and they're stretching it out as long as they can before they have to pay that money. She comes to me and talks to me and says, you know, this little girl can't walk. She can't, she's, she can't walk without this walker. She's been in a wheelchair and we run the risk of her never being able to walk again if we don't get this walker. You know, I met her mom, I talked to her mom several times during the process on the phone and in person. Her mom, she adopted that little girl knowing that the lifelong problem she was gonna have. So to me, that's a hero, not what I did, not a hero, that's a hero. A person who takes that little girl in and did what she did for her. That's a hero, and her mom and her is why I did it. Pretty much overwhelming when I got it. I can move and instead of being just rolling around in my little chair, I could just take off in my walker. Mary, her physical therapist, had come in a couple weeks after to uh, let me know how she had been doing and told, had let me know that she could walk pretty far in it now, farther than she's walked in a long time. She had dropped a lot of weight. It was progressing very well with the walker. Thank you and keep doing them. Thank you and thanks for being strong for people in need. And I see every day the effects that they have on people's lives and it's very close to my heart. I see every day the help that they give. Mm -hmm.